Hello, I'm just doing a video on the uh, RTX 3080 graphics card. Uh, the graphics card I've got is the uh, NVIDIA Founders Edition. And I'm just going to do a quick video on a benchmark of the graphics card um, on a PC game. And then also run through uh, undervolting. Um, I just wanted to quickly go over why we'd want to undervolt. Um, at stock, these graphics cards use high voltage and uh, due to this they run quite hot so by undervolting we're running the graphics card at near stock performance um, but we're running it at a lot less voltage which uh, results in less power draw on the graphics card due to the lower voltage uh, improved performance because when the graphics cards are running at uh, stock and it heats up it tends to down clock itself to try and keep the temperatures in check um, you can also expect a, a better life expectancy from your graphics card um, due to less stress that we're running through it in terms of voltage and temperatures. You also get more consistent frame rate in games. Um, again, this is because the uh, graphics card will theoretically be able to run at a set speed uh, more constant instead of ramping up and down to try and keep the temperatures in check. And lastly, there'll be less noise from the actual graphics card itself as the fans will have to run as hard and as fast to try and keep the temperatures in check. So in the video I'm going to run the benchmark on the 3080 graphics card and first off I've run it at stock voltages but different core clocks just to show the different power draw and temperatures. Um, and then I'm going to run the benchmark again with my undervolt applied. And again I'll show you the results of that and how it can uh, affect the graphics card and the way it runs. And then lastly I'll show how to actually apply an undervolt onto your graphics card. So the uh, benchmark that I'm going to be running on the 3080 graphics card is Zombie Army 4. Um, the benchmark's been run at 1440p on the Ultra preset. So. I'm going to go ahead and let this video play and then I'll uh, pull up the uh, results of that afterwards. So this is the Zombie Army 4 uh, benchmark running at 1440p ultra preset. On the left hand column the top is maximum frames per second and then average frames per second and then total GPU power measured in watts um, which is the total amount of power the graphics card's pulling at full load and then the hotspot temperature which is the hottest part of the graphics card and then the GPU core temperature then on the bottom I've got the core clock frequency that the graphics card's running at. So I've measured from 1710 up to 1965. I just wanted to show you can see going from 1965 core clock down to 1710. The total GPU power drops from 369 down to 313. So there's a 50 watt difference there just in dropping down the core clock. The core voltage is the same throughout all of these tests. Um, and also the average frames per second it's only dropped from 183 down to 162 um, when dropping down the, the core clock frequency so this is the same benchmark again run at 1440p ultra preset 
this time these are the uh, undervolt uh, results so the format is the same um, I've recorded the maximum frames per second, the average frames per second also showing the total GPU power and then hotspot temperatures uh, on the bottom the slightly different core clock frequencies displayed and the reason for this is if you look at the top um, there's different GPU voltages that I've set in MSI after burner so firstly you can see the average frames per second again is obviously pretty similar to what we had on the previous benchmark because the core clocks are pretty similar um, however when you look at the total GPU power you can see it starts off quite high 317 218 and then it starts dropping dramatically so for example if you're running at uh, core clock frequency of 1740 the total GPU power draw is 214 which gives you an average FPS of 167 and this is at 800 uh, millivolts but this is uh, over 100 watts less power drawn for very little decrease in frames versus what you'd get running at uh, stock and also the hotspot temperature there 56 degrees um, my graphics card's actually water cool it's got an EK water block on it however you can see there's a steady decline in the hotspot temperatures um, so yeah you can see obviously the results speak for themselves really as to why you'd want to run an undervolt you don't lose much performance but you massively reduce uh, power draw and also temperatures are lower as well okay so now I'm going to show you how to apply an undervolt to your graphics card so like I say I'm using the uh, RTX 3080 you can apply this to other RTX graphics cards obviously 2000 series are different you'd have to double check I can't guarantee this will work for them so firstly what you want to do is have MSI Afterburner open it's also a good idea to have GPU Z open just so you can keep an eye on the temperatures and the clocks and things like that so first off what you want to do is click this little chart icon here which is the uh, voltage frequency curve editor so you click that you'll be presented with this window here which essentially shows at stock what voltages are set um, to correspond with each core clock frequency stepping so firstly what you want to do is on core clock drag it down to minus 502 and the whole line is shifted downwards then what you want to do is from the bottom you want to pick what voltage you want to run at now stock is just over 1000 it's probably somewhere about here 1080 but I'm going to be running at 800 uh, millivolts and what you want to do is you want to pick whichever spot you want to run at so 800 there and then you drag it to what core frequency you want to run at so I know that my graphics card is stable running at um, 800 millivolts and 1759 on the left hand side click the tick icon which will apply it and then your chart will now look like this which essentially means that as soon as it gets up to 800 on the voltage it won't boost any higher so it will only stay at 800 by 1755 and then with that running I'm just going to run uh, folding at home which is a uh, program that's good for stress testing your graphics card and processors it's essentially medical research um, distributed by a university in Stanford uh, in America so I'll just give it a minute just to catch up here and I'll just show you um, on GPU Z once the uh, program kicks in so now you can see um, the GPU clock is at 1740 there the reason it's not 1755 is because the load is not exactly 100 so in gaming obviously we will be running at 100% uh, or close to ideally so you can see the GPU temperature, hotspot, memory and then down at the bottom here GPU voltage 0.8000 so you can see there 
it's now running at the undervolt um, that we applied and obviously the temperatures are within check um, with it being under a water block anyway it's going to run cool but on air you'd see a big drop here as well so if you're happy with the uh, profile that you've created on MSI Afterburner just hit the save button and then pick one of these buttons so pick number five so it's saying there profile five saved and then if you hit the little start up button there it means it will run that particular profile when Windows starts up so you don't have to do anything else um, now in terms of actually stress testing your graphics card like say I use folding at home so I usually let that run for a couple of hours if there's no errors on it then I consider that a stable um, clock speed and voltage so I'll save that but you know you can test it in games or however else you want to do it but you want to stress test it to make sure that it is stable um, like I say the stop voltage on the 3080 the full load is round about one, uh, 1080 on the millivolts uh, for the voltage um, but the sweet spot on these graphics cards seems to be around 800 to 830 so I always uh, try and pick somewhere in that region and usually about 1750 1800 it's a good clock frequency you're getting near enough stock performance but you're getting massively reduced temperatures and then I'll just show on here you can see their board power draw which is the total power draw for the graphics card was only 206 watts um, whilst it was stress testing now stock 3080 can pull almost 400 watts so you can already see how this is a massive power draw reduction um, running this undervolt so I hope this video has been of use and if you have any questions uh, please post them in the comment section. Thank you, bye.